Hey, hungry for some new riddles? Okay, here they are. Let's start with this uncomfortable situation that happened on an airplane. On a flight from Denver to San Diego, a flight attendant noticed a woman in an orange jumpsuit. You're a prisoner, she screamed, and she was about to report it. No, no, the passenger exclaimed. It's just a costume. I'm heading to a cosplay convention. Who do you think is right? I'd believe the passenger. She's headed to San Diego, and there are many cosplay conventions there. But also, look, her jumpsuit looks new, as if it hasn't been worn. But more importantly, there is a ticket to the convention lying by your side. Tom is about to cross a railroad bridge when he spots a big truck right in front of the underpass. It's not moving. Tom stops and asks the driver what happened. Uh, The truck is one inch higher than the indicated height of the underpass, the driver says. Unfortunately, this is the only road to my destination, and I am not sure what to do now. I must make the delivery on time, and the clock is ticking. What can the driver do to get through the underpass fast? The truck driver can let some air out of the tires, just enough to make the truck an inch lower. Sam and James are best friends, and they both are on a school basketball team. They always make bets, and today's bet is the following. Listen, dude, I bet 10 bucks that I can predict the score of the game before it starts, says James. Sam accepts. Soon enough, he passes James his $10. How come? The score before the game is always 0-0. That's what James said. Here's another bet, but you need to think outside the box to find the solution. Alex was at a carnival and went to a magician's booth. The man told Alex, If I write your exact height on this piece of paper, you'll have to give me $5. If I make a mistake, I will pay you $10. Alex agreed and then lost his $5. How did the magician win the bet? especially since he's just a fraud and has no magical powers whatsoever. The magician handed Alex the paper, and here's what was written on it. Your exact height. Eh, Maybe it's a bit unfair, but very precise. A local police department got a call. Someone reported that a big robot was roaming the city, crashing everything around. After a bit of digging, the police traced the robot's creator, a scientist living on the outskirts of the city. Here's what the scientist said. I created that robot, but I didn't mean any harm. Today, it just went crazy and wouldn't listen to me. I've been trying to stop it, but nothing works. Luckily, the police managed to capture the robot. Now they have to figure out what to do with the scientist. Did he really try to stop the robot? Or was this just his evil plan? What do you think? Look, the switch on the robot's body is in the off position. Yet the robot still functions. It means the scientist indeed tried to turn it off and is probably telling the truth. Now, let's train your eyes a bit. We're in a city of superheroes, and almost every house here is owned by some well-known superhero. I'll show you different interiors, and you have to figure out who the house belongs to. Deal? Alright then, here's the first one. What's your guess? I bet you notice spider webs everywhere. Yes, it's Spider-Man's house. Here's the next one. What do you think? Does it ring a bell? Have you noticed those boots in the corner and a lasso? Yes, that's the residence of Wonder Woman. Let's move on to her neighbor's house. Who do you think it belongs to?
Have you noticed this big hammer? Yeah, it's Thor's house. Okay, let's move on. Here's the interior of yet another house in the area. Can you guess who it belongs to? The scratches on the walls and couches hint at the one and only Wolverine. And here's the last one for today. Pay close attention and maybe you'll get it right. Well, the one living here is a patriot, with all those American flags all over the place. And there's a shield over there! Yes, of course, it's Captain America. Now, it's your turn to be a superhero. I'll show you two situations, and you'll have to decide who you need to save and who can manage on their own. You ready? Here's the first pair. Maya is running late and taking a shortcut on her way to school. Emily is driving to her aunt's house. Who should you save? Which one of them is in danger? Definitely Maya. Look, the shortcut is actually a frozen lake. But can you see the cracks? Yep, she might drown. Hurry up and save her! Good job! Now, there's a new pair for you, but only one of them needs your help. Tommy is walking to a birthday party and is texting while walking. Jaden is together with his friends. He's answering his girlfriend. Who is in danger? Both guys might fall into the maintenance hole on the way. But at least Jaden is with his friends. They'll probably notice the danger and warn him. Tommy is alone, so he might need your help. Riley is on vacation. She's on the beach, getting tanned and enjoying the waves and the breeze. Chloe went on a camping trip to a local forest and stopped for some snacks. Who is in danger? It's Chloe. It's not safe to eat unknown berries. And these ones are definitely poisonous. Just look at the poor bird that obviously munched on those. You need to come and stop the girl. Okay, off to the next case. Liam is strolling through the city, and Wendy is jogging in a local park. Who is in danger? A large tree branch is falling from a big height, and Liam is wearing headphones, so he won't hear a thing. He's the one who needs your help. Okay, here's your last superhero case, so look carefully. Leah and Mary went for a walk in the woods and encountered a bear. Long story short, the bear is now chasing them. Which one of them really needs your help? It's Mary. The girl is wearing heels. Not the best choice of footwear, since they will definitely slow her down. Hey, thanks for your help. Now, here's another riddle. Keep your eyes wide open and use your logic. Melanie isn't doing well in school, so she is grounded for all winter holidays. She's supposed to study the whole time. But luckily for her, her mother often works night shifts. So every now and then, she isn't at home. Of course, Melanie sneaks out to see her friends. She tries to be very careful so that her mother doesn't notice anything. But one early morning, her mom comes back home and realizes that Melanie sneaked out of the house at night. How did she figure it out? Look, Melanie's car is the only one in the neighborhood that's not covered in snow. It means she used it not so long ago. So, I can see that you can connect the dots well. I have another task for you. You see, there are a few suitcases that got lost at an airport. I'll show you what's inside. And you'll have to guess the professions of those who the suitcases belong to. Deal? Okay, here's the first one. What's the profession of its owner?
This one definitely belongs to a ballerina. Perfect! Here's the second one. What do you say? It must be a photographer suitcase. Good job! Here's more, and it's harder! Any ideas? Well, I'd say it belongs to an architect. The fourth suitcase is coming your way. Take a look. Okay, what's your call? This one probably belongs to a police officer. Great! What about this one? Yes, it must be a hairdresser suitcase. And here's the last one for today. Any ideas? I'd say it belongs to a pilot. That's it for today. Thanks for playing with me. You did well. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.